Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 24 of the Leap Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, word search number 79. Um, this is a pretty um, early on standard problem. And what I mean by early on now, it may be a little bit uh, aging myself a little bit as well. But this used to be a very common um like you might not get it every time, but it is a common problem that people talk about getting. Um, I don't know that I've gotten it before, to be honest, but it is something that is, you know, very basic, very fundamental, and definitely. Um, what is? Well, let me finish. That's that's my first impression. Let me double check that I, this is the right problem that I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, and you, it could be just yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think the the um, eh, these problems are always a little bit tricky because. Um, they are inherently um, they are inherently um, exponential right and then what some of some of that and I this is more my mostly my complaint for at least on like lead code and on on these online platforms is that you have to mind read a little bit what the like there are constraints that they tell you and you know it's fine but then there are quote unquote real constraints where they don't tell you and and they're like you know you have to kind of suss out the um the distribution of the test input cases and depending on whether you cater to them a little bit or lucky or not you know that's when you would um get get into that that said um, RNC, and I always read it that way, is six. So there's only like 36 items on the board. There are 15. Maybe I, mm, uh, I still don't think that that's fast enough per se. But but yeah, uh, and maybe the follow up is already a kind of a spoiler alert, which is that you are supposed to, you know, and this is why this is used to be popular. Is be, um, but maybe less so now. Uh, is because it, some of it is a little bit subjective um, and also maybe it's just a little bit too well studied. But what I mean by that is that back then, um, back in the day, and this is maybe 10 years ago now or more because I forgot what year it is usually, um, is that, um, and this happens a lot in like say finance back in the day and I meant finance, not like fintech as it is common to just call everything with tech these days. But is having these NP problems, right? And then, and then um, NP exponential problems, and then try to figure out what kind of pruning strategies you use, what kind of like to kind of really see what your thought process is with kind of coming up with these strategies, and what what are good with those strategies, what are test cases that are you know uh, um, are advantageous for those strategies, and so forth, right? Meaning, you know, there are some stuff that you could do to prune out some cases, and of course. Um, given, given a say, I wouldn't say randomly, but uh, like a normal e, standard e distribution of of inputs, you know, there may be some assumptions that you can make that will make it, I don't know, twenty percent faster for uh, a quote unquote normal random case where, you know, a lot of these things is about knowing what your inputs are and cater to them as well, right? Um, and this is this goes beyond. Um, just knowing the constraints, it goes about like, for example, if you're doing, I, I don't know if this is a good example, but let's say you're doing a dictionary words, right? And or, or a dictionary, and or maybe like let's let's just say, um, mm, I don't know, I don't, maybe I don't have a great example off my head because I am usually doing these live, but let's say you know your grid has some characteristics where, um, you know, maybe there's no, maybe every cat let, let um, every letter appear only once or something, right? Like that. I'm not saying that that's the case, but that would be something that you can maybe make a special case for. And then when do the, they, those cases come up, you'll be much faster. And that's kind of like a lot of these things. And then you can also have, you know, branch and bound, uh, which is a very common thing that people do. And then kind of figure out what these hu heuristics are. Um, there's stuff like A star search, which doesn't really make sense here. So I just kind of name dropped that for no reason, really. Um, but, but my point is still just that, um, you know, this is why these kind of problems used to be interesting and and um, and a little bit subjective, but but kind of like you know just try to see how an interview e um, process these kind of problems. Um, that said, and this is you know becoming a history lesson five minutes in. Um, that said, for um, for that at least you know if nothing else for the subjective reason, um, you know th these problems aren't as common anymore just because. Or at least like they want you to do the, the, the 
brute force one anyway, um, just because it's easier to kind of um, it's easier to um, have a less subjective experience during an interview, right? Meaning, if you're going to interview twenty people, it's hard to kind of you know uh, uh, quote unquote grade them if you don't know you know what what you want. Where if you have just something that has a correct answer or not, it's way easy to grade them great uh, enough that. You know, you don't even need a senior engineer or you don't need a staff engineer to to be your interviewer. You could just have uh, in some companies like um, a, a new grad or, or or like an eng two level type E thing uh, type engineer. Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that um, to to, you know, give you an interview because they just know exactly what to look for. And it's either it's right or not. Maybe, you know, you need to give complexity, et cetera. But it's just easy to kind of grade right on in a way that scales. Um, okay, so that's a lot of background. Uh, almost forgot. To, I mean, it's Wednesday here, so it's not depending on where you are. Maybe it's not true, but it's still happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I kind of forgot to mention that at the top of the video. Uh, it's about six minutes in. So yeah, um, so happy Thanksgiving to, to people celebrating or maybe early or whatever. Hope everyone, um, you know, hope everyone ha ha has a lot to be thankful for. Um, I don't know. <laughs> these things are always tough right? life is tough so i hope um and obviously huh, i'm breathing um and ho obviously the macroeconomics and tech has been kind of hit hard this year but um you know hope you're at least keeping up your health and stuff like that all right let's jump right let's let's there's a lot of conversation about this let's let's actually chat about this problem so 79 word search um so first let's uh, i mean like i said it's going to be some variation of exponential so let's jump right to it let's um do r and c um and then really and this is only one word sometimes you have a dictionary in which you would process that so that you make a slight linear gain i mean it's not even a, that big of a deal to be honest but especially if you're talking about dom being dominated by exponential factors but for this one we can just you know yeah brute force <laughs> TLDR, and then see if we get a little bit lucky. So, okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, and the way that, you know, um, I, I got stuff saying, you know, I, I, I think this is one of my, what's it called? Filler words. So I got to be better about it. But anyway, my, maybe anyway is also a filler word. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a transitional word. So I, I think that's a little oh, okay. But anyway, um, yeah, so basically, uh, what you might call it? Backtracking is what we're gonna do. Uh, so let's let let's do it. So backtrack. We want to be at x and a y, and an index to denote the words that we're using. And of course, we're gonna have have some. I mean, we could put it as something that we passed, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. So yeah, but just do, 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 or not seen, but used maybe. Let's see for do 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 right. And then here, uh, also just for directions, as I always do. Um, I don't usually, I, I don't know. There's only four of them, so I usually write it in some variation. I don't know that I have any um, like strict way of writing it. Maybe that's bad, but sometimes I, I do just say it out loud, um, depending on what we're doing. But okay, so, um, oh, okay. Let's just say L is equal to length of word. Mm, okay, so it's just a binary thing. We don't have to return anything. So if index is equal to L, we return true, right? And then for dx dy in directions, um, and x and y is equal to x plus dx, y plus dy, right? Uh, and then of course we should make sure that they're um, within bounds. I write this pretty much all the same way now. So, uh, and that's just partially, um, partially, uh, what you might call it, muscle memory, and partially, you know, like you've done something enough times, you know how you want to write it, and you think it's probably the most precise way to write it anyway, or oh, ish. Anyway, um, and not used NX and Y, and um, what is it? NX and Y is equal to word of index. Okay. And if that's the case, then we, um, well, the way that I'll write it is something like this. 
backtrack nx and y index plus one then we return true otherwise we return false with stuff like this i always have to be careful with like word language zero or one or something like this but uh but yeah and and of course we should uh oops kick it off in every other one so if backtrack x y zero return true otherwise return false and that should be oh no i lied um because we should do something like uh oops. i think eh, this is not a hundred like this is not as clean as i would like but okay fine let's just do this right or like yeah. I mean, I know that you could probably prove that it doesn't matter just because if you return true, you probably get it all the way up. But I just like the symmetry of the code. So, uh, oh, whoops. I like the symmetry of the code a little bit more this way. So that's why. Um, because it's easier to spot bugs if that's the case. And I use scene. I'm so used to using scene that I kind of used it here. You know, obviously, I, I know that I changed it to used. What the hey? Okay, so that looks good. Are we looking good at timing? Is this total time or just one case? That's not really clear. All right, let's just give it a submit and see how we do here. And it's going to time out, isn't it? Hmm. Or maybe my network's having an issue. Oh, uh, I even said that, but I um I messed up here. Huh. Didn't I? Um, I I knew that. Uh, now I'm, I'm upset with myself because I was like, oh, the, check, remember to check the base case. And then by the time I finished typing, I forgot to check the base case. So yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. So it goes. It tries to go. I did that weirdly. Hmm. Because this is index. Hmm. Hmm. I really did do this weirdly though. Uh, because I don't take account the first item correctly. Um, okay, I mean, that's fine, I guess. All right. Again, symmetry reasons, even though I know that, you know, this is not necessary per se. Um, okay. No, that's not true. Wait, what am I doing? Oh no, yeah, okay. So what I need to, I want to do is, yeah, I kind of defined my backtrack a little bit, really, but um, hmm. Oh, I should. I mean, I guess I could put it in easier. Hmm. That's kind of sloppy on my part, though. Hmm. All right, that looks good for that one. Let's let's give it a spin. Would be very sad if I got another wrong answer. It was taking a while though. Oh man, come on. <sighs> I mean, uh, silly lead code. I don't know. Um, hmm, never got a time limit before yeah how close was i four seconds how long does this take i mean this is mostly the same it's just hmm. uh, i mean this is mo exactly the same really and I, I didn't anticipate my previous answer looking a little any differently to be honest um it's just the code kind of sometimes have crappy performance maybe uh or like you know um hmm, let's see what is the case that uh, uh they don't even tell me a case it just tells me that i did all the 
thingies, just that it took a little too long, right? Is that the, uh, isn't there like a my submission thing? I thought that was like, a, oh, there it is. It's just that it was a thing. Hmm. So it doesn't even tell me how, how close am I, right? Mm, I am going to, I don't know that there are any easy optimizations, uh, to be honest. Or like, uh, without knowing the, in, like the, um, the, the inputs, right, is what I mean. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I did anything really weird. No, I mean, hmm. 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 I don't know. Man, this is silly. Let me just submit it again, just because I, I don't know how far I'm off by, but, and might as well just think about it while I think about it. Yeah, this is very silly, right? I don't know. Maybe there was okay. I don't think I changed anything, did I? So it's just lead code server being slow. Yeah, I mean that's where confidence gets you, I guess. They look exactly the same. I don't know if you. I'm clicking back and forth between them. I don't know if you could see, but okay. Well. Like I said, this is going to be exponential, and and apparently your AC depends on whether the code servers are fast or slow or having network errors or whatever it is. I don't know. Um, though this one is legitimately my bad. Oops. Um, yeah, like I said, there are some pruning techniques. You could probably pre-calculate some of the stuff. Um, you could pre-calculate if the word is even possible, for example, if it has all the characters or something like this. I don't know. That's really... Um, you know, but I don't know. I'm not going to do any of that today. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Uh, but I, I, at least, well, I, at least for this problem, I, I, I'm not. I don't care that much about this problem. Um, I will do an extra problem. I, sh I should have mentioned that at the top of the hour, but I am going to do an extra problem. So, uh, hope hope you subscribe and you hope you know you could do another problem with me. But that's all I have for today. So let me know what you think. Or for this problem anyway, for today, uh, let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.